As you can see, this little road is called the Cone Rennie Road. And there are two little ruins in this place. One's called, um, obviously, Little Cone Rennie. And the other one's called Injagan, but they're not easy to find, there's not much of them. So we'll mosey on down the road and the flowers are everywhere aren't they now? Different shades, the blues and the yellows and the pinks are all coming out at the same time. So that's the road in. Penny's doing a usual investigation. Duncan commissioners have planted a seat in an ideal spot, sunny, sheltered, and if you needed a rest, this is the place to stop. Footpath goes alongside it. There's not a lot to see. Unfortunately, but I'll show you what we can. Well, a nice monument planned here by Uncle in 2000. And through this gate is the remains of Injagan. So, this would have been the road in, off that little track. And in its heyday, it would not have been a little track, of course. It been a main thoroughfare, I think. That there's probably one of the original thorn trees. Amazing, it stood all this time. No, so as I said, there's not a lot left of Injagan. They've been given permission to actually go and have a look around, but I don't think there'll be much to see. Like all the little ruins in this place, it was um, destroyed in the Eclipse Reservoir was built in the 1930s. One of the last families living here was the Cleveland family. I'll get a bit more history about that later on. And the Hawthorne's well in flower now. The only limitation with any of these videos or photographs is the fact you can't smell it and it smells divine today. It really does. You know, where these where these ferns are would have been a barn or a shed or maybe it was the house. Who knows? It's been raised to the ground a long time ago. Just a few stones to leave a reminder. Or what's happened in its past. Now do you think this would have been the original bath? It would be fabulous to think it is, I don't think it will be, but it would have been so nice to think it would have been. The Cleveland family by the fire. Well, I suppose this would have been in a proper room. Having their weekly baths, as we all did in those days. Not the daily showers we have now. Oh, there's more pressures in the older days, I felt. Oh, we're just dirtier kids, eh? Who knows? Again, another pile of all that's left. I think Jagan. It's really the one lug of farms we're going to call all these children after in Jagan. I thought it's a lovely name. And again, some of the old thorn trees. And we've got some visitors. Obviously used to people, aren't you girls and boys? Hmm. And I'm reminded when I'm out folks, we do see horses, don't feed them anything. They get plenty from the owners who love them. So many animals get killed, even cattle. Don't feed them, they don't need it. So if we travel down from Injagan, the little ruin up there, we come to this little place called the Little Cone Rennie Road. And that comes out in the back road, coming up out of uh, Onken. It's going to up past a farm called Bagod. And we're going to try and find this little place called Little Conrenny because it's in here somewhere. It'll be down this road and uh, that's where Penny and I are going to go now. You could drive down the car, or at least a four wheel drive, it's not that bad. Easy to walk, but I think it's more likely to be bikes, I think. So we're in this little copse on the right of me here. Halfway down the track I'm hoping to find little Conrenny. Although I don't think there'll be much left of it these days as the rest of them they were raised to ground as I said. 
to the Clips Reservoirs when it was built, or when they were built. Like it, never seen Hollywood before. I've never seen it with berries or as bright as that either. Very smooth leaf, isn't it? It is. Okay, right, we can start talking. Where you go? Right, here we are at Little Conrenny Farm. It's on the Conrenny Back Road. We're looking east, and 200 yards in that direction is the Bigode Road. This is the Little Conrenny Farm. Here we have on the right. These are a set of steps up onto the loft of this building, this farm building that sat here alongside the road. See, I came up here with the camera. I didn't see any of that. In the road, the road originally narrowed here. And the reason for that was that there was a concrete wall here. And down here, heading in, is the remains of a concrete wall. This wall was fallen to widen the road. But that was actually, this was actually a water tank, a concrete water tank, which was fed from a spring up in the Upper Conrenny field. This filled with water and it went in a culvert underneath the road. This is the beef house and at the bottom of the beef house is this sort of semicircular wall. And as we see, one culvert comes in and the other culvert comes out goes out and here was like a sump so the water for the bees you took your bucket and you them the water so the water was actually inside the building this is that that's your barn then was it this was actually a beef house now the water came from the cold from that sump across and down here you have the what's left is the towers and the towers the culvert went in under the towers wall ran in front of the cows and each cow had a little puddle in front of them to uh. drink and then the water came out the other side of the cows and ran down across to that there place in the wall that little bridge in the wall to Inamona which which was the water for Inamona so this was the spring for Inamona yeah this is little Conrenny farmhouse that here and my grandfather, when we were when I was a child, 50 years ago, dug down and he found the front doorstep to the house, which was red tiled. Now, the farmhouse was fed also from the water in a culvert underneath, and the water actually came into the house, and and that's where they got the drinking water from. The same as a spring as in Amona. Yep. And this would have been abandoned the same time as Amona. Blasted at the same time, around the same time, 1913, as in a farm. By these little mounds, they would have been hedges or walls. The rune will be in these trees somewhere. So in under the tree we go. Judging by the trees in and around here, this would have been the yard of Little Cone Rennie. It's a very overgrown day, so we're not going to find anything much to prove the point. But we'll carry on looking. Good of something there. And the walls covered with ivy. Always reclaims everything, doesn't it? Yeah, found a wall. Now, whether this was a building, I don't know. Down this path, and you see this wall. Maybe it was a barn next to the road. Who knows? People are going no longer with us. It's a 
bit of a disappointing find really. I was hoping for some sort of a recognised characteristic, but no. So we're head off back now. Next one they're going to look for is a lovely place called Enamona. Never seen this triangle too somewhere. This is the footpath going back into, I don't know, probably Baldrine or not Baldrine, Honkin. Maybe the top of the White Bridge, Molly Quirks Glen and those places. And we'll walk it down a bit and see what it comes to. You can smell the garlic today, it's strong. Dairy man's nightmare. As I've said before, when the cows eat garlic, it taints the milk. You can't sell it, you've got to do something else with it. It's a lovely little footpath. We'll go down a bit. Of course, there's not a lot of it. Look down here for a little bit first, give you some idea what you're walking into or through. It's certainly pretty, very pretty. And on it goes. Okay folks, I think you'll be able to find your own way from here. We'll go back and look at the uh, ruin or whatever's left of it.